You'll call me on your telephone wondering if I'm all Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. You might be wondering where exactly am I right now? Today's video is going to be a little mini Toronto staycation and there's a whole reason behind why I'm doing it, which we will get to. But as for where I am, I'm actually currently in an Airbnb in Yorkville, Toronto. So there's a couple factors that kind of played into why I'm here right now. The first one is that my actual apartment building, which obviously is in Toronto, it's currently getting some construction done inside. It's due to the piping and the plumbing inside of our building and for that reason they need access to our condos during the day which is normal for people that go to work and will be out of their hair but because I work at home and because of Bentley we would have literally been just sitting in my apartment with a bunch of strangers cutting up walls and replacing pipes and I just that just sounded like a headache I really didn't want. And the second factor is, I talked about this in my spring cleaning video part one, I've been like itching to kind of move and I don't know if I wanna stay in the area that I'm in in Toronto or try out somewhere new. For today's video, I'm trying two different areas of Toronto, two different Airbnbs, two different apartment styles, basically two complete opposites of Toronto and seeing if either of those kind of speak to my soul more. So welcome to day one. I just got to this Airbnb. I'm staying in Yorkville, as I mentioned. Yorkville is kind of like, I wanna say a little bougie, a little bougie area of Toronto. There's really nice high-end shops. It's more up to date because I don't think it's as old as other areas of Toronto. Really nice restaurants, really nice stores, and obviously really nice condos because this place is beautiful. First, let me give you guys a little bit of a breakdown of how I'm gonna review each place of Toronto. I'm gonna try a cafe. I wanna find a cute, like nice area to walk Bentley because that's gonna be important to wherever I move. And I'm gonna try, obviously, you know, the vegan food because girls gotta eat. It's currently 4.28 in the afternoon. It's also snowing out. I'll give you guys a little look at what I'm seeing right now. This is not spring weather. I'm very upset. Not that cold though. Don't let it fool you. I'm not gonna let this get me down because I can tell spring's coming. I'm gonna unpack a few of the things that I brought kind of settle into the Airbnb, and then I think I wanna go shopping. If I can find a cute cafe while I'm shopping too, we'll just knock that one off the list. Before we jump into the B-roll and the fun music, I'm gonna give you guys a really fast Airbnb tour because the other thing that I'm doing in this vlog is both Airbnbs are completely different styles of condos. So when it comes to moving, I have kind of two options in mind, which I will digress into later on. This style is more, it's first of all, it's smaller. This isn't even a one full bedroom, this is like, kind of bachelor style where the bedroom is just separated by a glass wall. I'm basically gonna see if downsizing to this size is realistic for me. Let me give you guys a tour of the Yorkville spot. Okay, so when you first walk in, this is what you kind of see. First off, there's just a little mini closet here. Quite small, that could be a struggle. Like a really nice bathroom, pretty standard. I do have to say this is a nice touch for an Airbnb, like a fresh, toothpaste and toothbrush, killing it. I'll leave the link to this Airbnb down below. They've got flowers, lots of plants, I'm liking that. I could get, I could, I could do with this bathroom. This is a good sized bathroom. As for the main area, you come out and then the first thing is kind of like the bedroom area. So this is what you would have, although this is a really, oh my God, no. No, no, no. I would definitely need a lot more closet space. Because I'm heading to Kingston after this, I'm gonna be gone for four days, so that's all just kind of the stuff that I had to pack. But in terms of living, this, this would be definitely a struggle to downsize to this kind of bedroom, but I'm not against it. And then as you kind of walk through, there's these glass doors that I think you can like close if you want to separate things. I mean, you don't really have privacy for doing that because you can still see through, but I think it's just like maybe if someone's sleeping and I don't know. Who knows what that's all about. But then, after you move the glass dividers, there's basically a little mini living room slash kitchen area. So it's just like a mini kitchen. I don't even think that there's a full stove, but I do have to say I need to know where where she got this kettle. I popped a few of my things here. I'm gonna make some French press coffee in the morning. And then when you turn around, it's just kind of like the TV living room area. This would be a huge, huge downsize for me, but I really like the vibe in here. The only thing that I wouldn't be able to do with this condo is there's no balcony. And I would definitely need a balcony. We'll just have to see.
but really quick I wanted to kind of update you guys I won't ramble your guys's ear off but I will show you really quickly um, first thing I didn't pick these up right on this shopping trip but I did pick these up this morning I met my friend Megan we went to um, bloomers for some like vegan bagels and vegan donuts and then we hit up this crystal shop that she really likes going to called happy soul and I picked up two new books from there the first one is numerology by Anne Christie kind of interested in numerology ever since I started reading eat pray love and she kind of talked about it in the beginning I just thought it'd be like a cool avenue to learn a little bit more about and then the other one that I picked up is Moonology. Apparently we're really interested in the ologies. This is working with the magic of the lunar cycles and I think I talked to you guys about the book called Witch that I read earlier this year and it made me really want to learn more about the phases of the moon so when I saw these books I figured they were good non-fictions to add to my list. As for the shopping that I did today, first, like I said, 24 is gonna be the year of the green thumb for me and with planting and wanting to get new plants, plant new flowers, all of that fun stuff on my patio inside my zen slash office space, I knew I needed to pick up a book on gardening. And it's not even just about gardening, but it's all about how gardening is actually really good for like your mental health and wellness and how to kind of tie it into living a happier life. And then I saw this one at the checkout and I grabbed it for a fiction book. It's called The Measure of My Powers, a memoir of food, misery, and Paris. The other things I picked up were this candle, which I'm about to burn. I'm going to go take a bubble bath while I'm here before heading to bed. They had like purple amethyst. They had pink quartz. As you burn it, crystals become available to you and this one smells so good. The other thing I picked up, which again, I keep on referencing my spring cleaning vlog, but it's because we decided a lot of life things in that vlog. I really wanna start gardening and planting things, especially on my patio and in my office space. So I picked up a little cilantro herb kit so I can start my herb garden. I picked up one more thing. This is gonna be for the part two in the spring cleaning series of redecorating, but I picked it up today, so I'll show it to you guys. It's this little cactus vase. No idea where I'm gonna put them. The other things I got were just from Free People. I picked up just two quick little things from here. I'm heading to California in a few weeks, so I picked up a new pair of jean shorts for this spring and summer. I'm venturing out of my comfort zone. I picked up not only are they capris, but they're like khaki capris, and this is so not something I would have worn last year, but it's something I'm gonna try and wear this year. So that's my update so far. I'm gonna pack this stuff back up so it's ready to go in the morning, brew myself a nice little bubble bath, maybe read a chapter of my book, and then hit the hay, because I have a 6.30 a.m. yoga class tomorrow, and a dog that's waiting to be cuddled. So let's get the bath bomb fizzing and get to bed. <laughs> before we need to check out. 
Isn't that right, Mr. Bentley? Grab the Jeep, basically head to the second Airbnb, which is in the distillery district. So that is where we're heading to next. My overall consensus on this spot and this location, I'm gonna rate everything on a 10 star scale. So yesterday I tried out this cafe called the Sari Cafe, and it's hilarious because I've actually seen it before on like Instagram. I accidentally stumbled upon it when I was trying to find a cafe. It was pretty cute. It was very quaint. It was very small. Um, I think I liked the cafe that I went to this morning better. All vegan, nut free, preservative free, soy free, gluten free, and gold utensils. And it was just so cute. So putting those two cafes together, I'm going to give it a full 10 stars. If it would have just been the Sorry Cafe, I think I would have rated about a seven, but the Sorel Cafe brought it right over the top. In terms of food, the food that I got was just takeout sushi because I feel like knowing a good sushi place around your area, sushi is one of my favorite foods. So, I mean, it was very subpar sushi, so maybe six stars, my honest opinion. Although there are way better restaurants around here. There's Planta, which is a really, really nice vegan restaurant. I've been to it multiple times. There's also Chibo right at the bottom of this building too, which I love as well, the mushroom appetizer. Oh my God, don't get me started. So if we're going to put those in there, considering the only thing I tried was the sushi, then I'd put Yorkville up at about an eight or nine out of 10 stars. I love a good busy city, don't get me wrong, but I also like the nature and the prettiness of, you know, by the water or whatever. So the only thing we could really find around here when we were walking were these cute little houses and like a couple cool little things. But in terms of finding places to walk or take Bentley, I'm going to rate Yorkville a bit of four star. Overall, in terms of the actual apartment, if I would be able to downsize to this, I love The Bachelor because it's so small, but I think it's almost too small for the amount of work and stuff that I do from home. I'm going to say it's about a six star. And overall location, I love Yorkville. I love the shopping, but I don't think it's somewhere that I want to live full term. So I'll probably keep coming to Yorkville, but in terms of living in Yorkville, I don't, I don't, think it's for me. So with that, let's move on to phase two of this vlog and we're going to the distillery Shall district. I probably more what I'm gonna go for. Greg's also gonna meet me out for dinner later tonight. I think we're gonna go to this place. I asked the guy that owns this Airbnb and he said there was a really, really good Mexican place down the street made out of this like really old house. So I thought it would be really cool. The area itself that this building is, it's a little bit more run down. So we'll see about the whole walking Bentley situation. But as for the style of, of apartment slash condo, I mean, let me just give you guys the tour because wait till you see. This is insane. So you walk in, first of all, there's these really cool like old lockers. Let me just give you guys an overview. This place is amazing. It's really cool old exit sign. Someone walking around upstairs. So many plants in here. I'm like, I'm living right now. And then over on this side, there's just like this old, I dropped all my stuff right there, but just this like desk, more plants, just so many plants. Not only is there like this really cool old ladder, there's also a swing. This is not just for aesthetic. I officially want a swing in my apartment. A little chair, I threw my cardigan there. Um, outside isn't like the most insane view. Loft style windows with like brick. This place just has so much character. I can't get over it. Kitchen area, there's these three stools and a table. Over here is like the living room area, which is also super cool. Look at this like chandelier thing they have. They also have a donut pillow. Um, and then there's this little area here. This is so cool. This cooks up to the TV. They have like an uh, infuser and then this like light thing. Like guys, that would be such an easy DIY to do. And then more plants. This is making me so excited to start getting really into plants. And then flipping back around, there's just like this big chair. There's the TV and they put this like really cool old vintage frame over it. So many plants. And then this is the bedroom area. I'll give you guys a little look at it. It's just pretty standard. Um, the blinds are shut right now, so it's a little dark in here. Let's give it a go. So yeah, but this vibe is so... This is what I'm missing in my life. So as you guys can see, I wasn't kidding when I said the Airbnbs were two completely different styles. I have a few hours to kill, obviously, before I meet Greg for dinner. And I actually have some editing to do. I have some work to do, emails to answer. And honestly, I couldn't think of a better place to do it than here. So I'm gonna do some swinging, answer some emails, get some work done. That's that for the next 15 minutes. I'm going to literally just exist and probably swing.
update. It's actually going on 8.30. I'm just about to go meet Greg. He's here to pick me up downstairs. We're gonna go walk over to this place called, um, what's the restaurant called? Cocina Economica. Um, I walked around a little bit today. I checked out that Neo Cafe, so Cafe checked off the list, edited and uploaded my video. In terms of this specific location of this Airbnb, there's not a lot around here. So that's kind of factoring into how I feel. And I'm not gonna lie, I love this place, guys. I love it, but I found two bucks. Aside from that though, I'm having like the best time ever. I'm gonna go run down and go get some guacamole and tacos with my guy. More updates coming soon. very frustrated. I'm trying to not be. I had already filmed an outro to this video and I filmed the yoga flow that I did in the second Airbnb, but for some reason I somehow lost the footage somewhere along the way. Thus, I am refilming the outro. First things first, when it came to walking Bentley, there was not much around that area. I could have walked to the distillery district, which is kind of cool. There wasn't that much like nature. And not only that, when I walked them at night, I was a little, I was a little bit scared. And then when it came to yoga to the closest place to that specific Airbnb, like a 20 minute walk away to do yoga. So I decided to do yoga just that morning and it was actually so zen and so nice. The sun was coming through the window and then just with the whole vibe of that place and the plants. I'm happy that I ended up doing yoga there instead, but I'm so sad I lost the footage because I was working on some really cool stuff. In terms of food, the Mexican place we went to was really, really good. And I know of some other good restaurants, actually another Mexican one called El Catrin. It's in the distillery district and that is also amazing. So when it comes to food, I'm gonna give that area about an eight solely because I love Mexican food you give you give it you give me guacamole and I'm happy as for places to walk Bentley I would say like a two star the cafe I went to was really cute the latte was really good and the guy that made it was super sweet so I'm gonna give the cafe area like a seven out of ten and then in terms of the entire apartment as a whole that size first of all is definitely more suitable it made me want so badly to kind of have a bit more of a rustic style and so I'm liking the idea of taking modern but also taking plants in the kind of that style and meshing them together. So it's almost like taking my apartment now and the Airbnb I was just in and meshing them together. That's what I'm asking the universe for in terms of my next apartment. As for the location, I, I, I think I'm gonna have to give it a four. Definitely don't think it's the location for me. Even just coming back to my, my apartment, just everything's so accessible. There's parks and nature and the water near me. Staying where I am in terms of area of Toronto is looking is looking up. I might have to do a part two to this video and try out some other areas of Toronto. So if that's something you guys wanna see, leave a comment down below or thumbs up this video. But so far, I feel like I learned a lot from my little staycation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below which Airbnb slash style was your guys' favorite and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. This is this right here is why I'm at because my other outro that I had already filmed I was swinging and then I swung up and put my hand over and now I just feel like I feel like this is so anticlimactic. I'll just I'll just come at you. Okay. I see you